Hello, hello, hello! How are we all doing? Hello, Smile for Shaheen. Hope we're doing well, mate. The French line's here. The French Cold War line, finally. It's here. We've got something to play. And we've got the Fraternity as well. The Tier 9 French Cold War light. Cold War? Tech tree. No, premium. World War 2 light tank. There we go. Hello, Big Doe. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Shaheen. I'm doing well. Been hyper grinding. Got to the Brennus. Which I played one game in. And I decided that I was going to try and machine gun an STRV. And the, the G.I. Joe STRV. And it didn't go very well. Hey, Bradley. Nice. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope we can provide some work entertainment for y'all. But yeah, the plan is today is to grind, <laughs> pretty much. Grind the Brennus, grind... Well, well, we'll play some of the rest of the French line as well, to be fair. But grind the Brennus, play some of the French line, play the Fraternité as well. I need to add it to favourite so I can actually find them, which is helpful. So we've got that, add that to favourite. And 30B2, there it is. Now, if I do that, it should be the French line so far. Except for the 30A, because of course it is. So let's go to the... Over here, 30A, add the favourites. There we go, we've got the French line so far. But yeah, we've got the Brennus. We've got the... Just finished the 30B2, literally. Which... If you've, if anyone knows, if anyone's got the 4AD, you will know what this tank is like. Because it's exactly the same as the 4AD. <laughs> it looks... I mean, actually, I should add the 4AD onto this favourites list, shouldn't I? And that way we can have a look at it. Add to favourites. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know why I did that. Just click the favourites list like so. So here's the, here's the 4 ad, And here's the 30B2. They're, they're pretty much, except for the gun, the look of the gun, they're pretty much the exact same tank. And statistically too, they're exactly the same tank. Because this tank has, I think... I think it was something like it has 200 no it has it has worse view range or something like that no it has the exact same view range I think it was literally something like the the, the statistics it was like 0.1 on the accuracy drone rotation or something like that the, but they're basically the same tank near enough except for this goes a little bit quicker apparently 77 over 71 but yeah if you played the 4 ad you'll know what you're getting from the 30b2 pretty much I think this actually has slightly better turret armor as well, but yeah, besides the point. This whole thing has been just it's been pretty fun, to be fair, because th this Shah 25T has been pretty f was pretty fun, if a, if the derpy gun is a pain in the ass at times, but it, it's pretty fun to play the, the little bat chat. The Shah 40T was pretty good. The 30A was different to playing these two, naturally, because it's not an autoloader, but in terms of being that top here or medium tank, it's pretty solid because it's got the gun mobility and really nice gun. Heat standard is a bit of a pain, but in era one you can get away with it. The 30B was a lot of fun, to be fair. Actually, as an entry era medium tank in era two, it wasn't actually that bad. I was, I mean, my experience is the M60, which wasn't great for me, and the Centurion 9, which I haven't enjoyed. And this thing I actually kind of enjoyed. The only problem with it is the heat standard. The heat standard is absolute pain, because the amount of times you shoot things like Enigmas and it just goes, no, no pen for you, sir and T-72s and stuff like that. It's just a pain in the ass. But that changes when you get to the 30B2 and you get the APCR premium, which means they can actually pen things. Woo! And my thing on this is the exact same as the 4 ad. It's like, if the APCR was the standard and it had only 400 pen, and the heat was the 482 pen, I would never carry any of the heat. I just wouldn't. I'd, I'd just stick with the 400 pen. Because the heat in Era 2 is horrid. Because, I mean, if you shoot at something like this thing, look, even this thing, which hasn't got much armour at all, but it's got, you know, the ARA in the front and stuff like that, you'll just get your shots absorbed randomly. Shots that you think, oh, that's going to pen, wouldn't. You just, just don't. Which is pain. But, yeah. How am I? Hey, Wanshia, I'm, I'm all right, mate. Hope you're having a good day. Heat on Cold War is useless. Yeah, it went in Era 1, like I say, in Era 1, that's fine. It's not, it's not useless in Era 1 because there's not there's not enough spaced armor to 
you know, absorb the shells. But Nero 2, absolutely. But yeah, the uh, so far it's been a pretty good br grind, to be honest. It's pretty painless. Pretty painless. I mean, I had a pretty terrible run in the 30B2 this morning when I was grinding it. But half of that was down to me being half asleep, I think, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, th this grind hasn't actually been too bad so far. So let's, let's carry on with tr and try and have a better game than we had in the first game in the Brennus, anyway. But again, that was down to me being an idiot and deciding I'm going to YOLO that STRV GI Joe and then finding he had friends and then I couldn't actually get round him because he tracked me with one of his ATGMs. I was like, ah, cool. Especially when you have to face the 4 2 one, one. Yeah, that, that's the pain for the MX 30B, the, the, the entry era, because you see 4 2 one, ones and you just go, well, there's not much I can do about this. <laughs> you have to shoot. The only place that actually you can pen them is in the lower plate. You have to shoot them in the lower plate of the 4 2 one, ones as low as possible. You don't shoot the higher bit of the lower plate. You have to hit the low, low bit of the lower plate. Which sounds weird, but it is the way it is. And you can pen it, but it's like the only way you're going to pen it. Because most of the time, the weak spot is to shoot the drive wheels between the spaced armour. Well, in front of the spaced armour. But you can't do that with heat, because you just don't do any damage. You track them, but you don't do any damage. But the, the 20mm auto cannon is a big thing for that 30B as well. Because you can just rack up damage so quickly. And it's really, really nice to sort of be that anti-YOLO as well. But these are very, very much like the Leopards, in a way. But you do have that 20mm cannon to have a laugh with, as well. Is Quaxel's actually helpful? I usually run my Abrams. The, the, yeah, the 20mm the are pretty damn helpful, Bradley. Especially in Era 2, when there's a lot of light things, like especially a lot of the light tanks, and a lot of tanks where, say, if I was to get this VT2, he was to get tracked... I could run up behind him and then just start machine gunning his ass. And uh, the damage is insane, like, how quickly it racks up. Also, you, you've got the chance of setting them on fire and critting them and stuff like that. It's very, very useful, depending on the situation. It's obviously not useful to just drive up to a VT2 and then just sit there frontally facing it and spamming the, the ATGM into it, because that's not going to do much for you, is it? But if you get them in the side and rear of a lot of tanks, it's going to go well. Uh, that's quite a few tanks. Our guys need to move up, not sit back. Oh, Audra. Nope. Okay. Got there in the end. Stay there. And die. <laughs> That's where it's useful. Light tanks do stuff like that. Drilled straight through. There is so much over here. I'm sorry, Conker. I can just shoot you straight through the gun mantle. It's really, really sad. But that is, that is what you are. We're blind out here. Well, the turret armor is definitely nicer on this thing. I actually have some sort of ability to bounce things, which is glorious. Something that the 30B2 and the 30B don't have. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Thank you, Chieftain. I love you.
Oh, really? Thank you, gun. I don't know how that bounced. Oh, he set me on fire. Come on. Good morning, Anubis. Drive's not too bad. I was kind of hoping everyone would charge in on that T-55, but I went a bit too early, I think. We got some nice damage into him. What I wanted to do was track him and then get like behind him and just start machine gunning him, but it didn't quite work like that. <laughs> we failed. But our team wins. We managed to win that engagement though, which is pretty good, because like we were really outnumbered in there. What's left? An M50? Where the hell's the M50? Oh, there he is. Kill it! And a T72A. I've seen quite a few of those today. There seems to be a lot of these M52As knocking around. Oh, that looked painful. And he's done. Just like that. We win. That was how to throw all your hit points away and die. In a nutshell, that game. Could have died so much more from that, but that was silly. They were all very friendly and just let me keep popping up and shooting them. Very, very friendly of them. Do, do. Yeah, the grind's going pretty well, Anubis. Grind's going pretty well. And so we're up to this 30B2 Brennus, which is the end of Era 2. Not looking forward to Era 3 that much, because I'm not a big fan of Era 3, personally. But we'll see how it goes when we get there. Let's go again. Keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. It's what we do. It's what we do. Pearl River. Hello, Ivan. Hope you're doing well, mate. Right, we'll go towards the cap, I suppose. That's what we gotta be doing. Uh, lots of squishy things, too. I mean, T62, 230B, the Centurion 9, Leopard, Ignis. Ignis is squishy, but deadly. M3A1 and the 934 as well, and the 13 SS11. There's a lot of squishy tanks that 20mm auto cannons like. Let's go, Brennus. Let's go. Is the Shell 75 good? It's alright. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's not anything crazy, but it's pretty decent. It's not bad, by any stretch. Frustrates me a little bit. No, oh, please. Hello, Nighthawk. Oh. That looked like it was destined for that guy. Okay, there's a light tank somewhere and I don't like that. Well, that's an ATGM from a Bradley, right there. Is 
Second time in three games I've been set on fire, so that's something. It's not going to go well when you get into gem like that. Come on, Bradley. Oh, go on. Come on. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. ERA. Saving the day. That thing can stick its head... I, I forget about that with the Bradley. That it can stick its head over like and get you with the ATGMs. I just wanted to move up to the next rock. Didn't quite work. Hey, well. We did. I had a rave result yesterday. I was playing the M50 Sherman, had one kill, 19 damage total, and received a mark of excellence. My buddy played his Sherman with a 2 kill. Something, but no, it's probably... It, you've not played it for a while, probably, Anubis, on that one. And it just adjusted to what the requirements are now, or something like that. That, happen, that can happen from time to time. What did... I I, I didn't even look at what gun because I was flicking between the two. Yep, no, we're, we're, we're sorted. Yeah, Anubis, the, the marks can sort of... Say you played it a wee while ago and it, you did really well in it. And say the requirements have dropped a hell of a lot since you played it. It will adjust to how you played and it will reset. So say you played it a lot when you first ground through it, when the tank first came out, and that meant the mark of excellence for it was really quite high because everybody, every man and his dog was playing it. And nowadays it's just the noobs playing it, pretty much. That means that the noobs are not doing very well in it. And now you've played it, it's adjusted to the level that it was now as opposed to what it was back then, which might have been like way higher. Nibelberg. See what we can do in this tank. Wish you did that for your chieftain, but it's trying to get two marks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always nice when it happens, but it very rarely happens. It happened to me with the uh, with the the rebel, not rebel, you say, with the super Sherman, for example. The Super Sherman, I was sitting at like, what, 90, 94% for ages? Which I'd already got, I'd, I'd already 3-marked it a long time ago, right? So I wasn't looking for the third mark. But I 3-marked I, I it a long while ago, and I've just been naturally sitting at 94%. And when they gave it away in the season pass, it jumped to 100% on a game that I got one shot by an AVRE. <laughs> you know? I just got gold marks out of the blue, just like that. I was like, ah, cool. I didn't want them. <laughs> hey, Munich. Yeah, but 19 damage is way too low and did over two. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. It, the game itself that you just played generally doesn't matter. <laughs> that That's the thing. If, if, if you just played that game, it, it generally doesn't matter that much, to be honest. That game itself was like a readjustment. So no matter how your result... It, that's that's why people can play... Um, that's why people have had it where they have really massive drops. And the big complaint is always like... But I, I played a game. And I've, I've had it. I, I had it in the... What was it? I think it was the E50. I ended up doing 8k damage when I was at 93%. And basically didn't play it for ages because I had a run of bad games and I was like, no, nah, screw it. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to stop. And I was at 93% and I played the game and I dropped to 82 and was like, what? You know, just because I did whatever. This was ages ago. It, re it just randomly reset. But you, it can go the other way quite easily too. You can have the most ridiculous game, but it just generally is when the mark, 
resets over the average. The actual game you played doesn't really matter that much. Or well, the result you got in it didn't matter too much. Oh yeah, we're just gonna run away. I'm having some real big frame drops with this map. Yeah, exactly, it fluctuates. Exactly not at all. It can happen. It's been known. You got two? Nice. Well, yeah, mum's the word. Mum's the word, Spainster. Mum's the word. This game has been awful. Lol! Get bounced. And he's Amorakt, which means he's boned. Oh, he's coming for me? Oh, no, I'm alone here. Oh, no, I'm dead. My only play is to go past him. Oh, that worked. I'm out. Oh, no, I'm not out. The other nomad got, the other nomad got me. Okay, he got me in midair. Well, there we go. We died. This game was awkward. It just didn't seem to take anywhere. It's kind of like run away from one flank because we lost it and find we've lost another. Did manage to get that chieftain out though, which is pretty satisfying. Well, let's carry on. Monsieur Brennus is going to be back. It is back. How did that game go? Very badly. Yep. You play Waffle? Not right now, Ivan. Not now. We're just going to keep grinding the French tanks and playing the other one. Hey, Death Express, thank you for following the channel, mate. Should we get the WZ120 GFT or the King Dragon from the Wards? Which is better and why? The... It depends on your playstyle, to be honest, Thomas. It, it depends on your playstyle, because the WZ120 GFT is a really solid tank destroyer. It's got really good camo, it's got a really good gun, it's got a really good DPM. It's low to the ground. And it's an absolutely solid tank. Same as the King Dragon. The King Dragon's got good mobility. It's got good turret armor. Seven degrees of gun depression is nice. 390 alpha at tier 8 is lovely. 200 APCR pen can be a bit of a pain at times, especially when you get tier 10 games. And the 250 heat pen is nice, though. But, yeah. So, I'm not too sure. It depends on which, which type of playstyle you like. Like, I would pick the King Dragon because I'm not the biggest fan of the WZ120 GFT. Even though it's a really good tank, it just doesn't fit me. I don't enjoy it. But other people love the WZ120 GFT and would tell you to pick the WZ, the, the, the WZ every single time, right? King Dragon is definitely good for, for crew boost. Hey, Defonzi. I find it so boring to play the same tank over and over again. I get one win, then switch to a completely different tank and gameplay grinding to marks. It's definitely not for me. Yeah, it depends. Like, I, I have to be in the mood for it, man shot. I have to I have to be in the mood for it. Because I, t I tend to flip between tanks and play, like, hundreds of different tanks in a row. I mean, I own most tanks in the game, except for in Cold War. So, I, t I tend to flip all the time. That's why some of the grinding for these Era 2 tanks, and Era 2 is notoriously bad for it, is a bit of a pain. Because, like, this 32B2 Brennus is actually kind of different from the other two. But the 30B and the 30B2 were basically the same tank. And you've got to grind that for a lot of XP. Can be a little bit boring once you get going. Oh, hello.
FE4201s, woohoo! It's always a good day when you see those coming over. They're an absolute pain to deal with. So I'm going to shoot you because I can pen you. Or I lied, I, I bounce. Oh, we're so dead. What is going off behind us? Oh, bad shot. <laughs> this is having no map control whatsoever. And we're dead from behind. Yeah, this is what having no map. They 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 managed to send their whole team here and here, and just completely surrounded us. God damn. We needed these guys. <laughs> we needed these two four two one ones because they just stopped us doing anything. Whereas ours have driven around the map. If you're in four two one ones, you want to go down this way because it take takes too long to do what they did, which is go up and down this way. I'm too late to the party. It is a bit zergy and cowboy. Oh, yeah, it always has been. Tends to be the way. Well, there was not much we could have done there. We just got surrounded completely. Like, my whole team got trapped in this one little grid, grid zone. And that was it. Those two M60 A2s. Come on, people. Time for some beer. Nice. Enjoy it, Defonzi. That's, that's what you wanted to be doing. You want to be enjoying it. There's not much these M68s could do about these 4211s either. Beer and tanks is the delight, Defonzi. Beer and tanks. Although, it may, beer tends to make you play worse. Here comes the tanks. And he's dead. Hey Anubis, thank you again thank you again for gifting five memberships, you madman. Thank you so much, mate. As always, thank you so so much. For better gameplay, gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, thank you so so much again, Anubis, for gifting five memberships. It's very, very kind. Hellfire pass. Chat looks better when it's green. Yeah, definitely. Why no on tracks anymore? They 
do tend to they tend to do a load and then take a break for a long time and then they do another lot. It's the way they've always done it. They'll have like a six month period where they have uh, all of them on track pretty much in that period, and then they have like another six or seven months where they just don't do anything at all. Tends to be the way they do it. Roll out. See what we can do over here. Hopefully not find too many 80s yammers. Destroy all the buildings. All tokens turned in. Guess I'll have to wait and see if I get anything extra once I log in today. See if it works. Hey, Monsula Roll. See you later, mate. Where is the enemy team? There is the enemy team. Ah, oh, four, two, one, one. Good times. Another four, two, one, one. Oh boy, that fills me with joy. Well. I guess this is the way it's going to have to be. Good night, Bradley. I didn't see that, Bradley. That was so stupid. I just lost so much hit points because of that. I was going to try and get around behind like, these medium tanks, but nope. Still, we assassinated that man. He did not have a good time. There's pretty much not that much that Bradley could have done there. Oh, come on. Can I just pen? Thank you. Machine guns! <laughs> Machine guns go pew 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 pew! <laughs> Thank god they chose the 4 2 on one <laughs> I bounced. Pretty sure that's a rocket coming. Yeah. Thank you. And we got him. Uh-oh. Oh, he's dead. Get machine gunned. <laughs> That's what that game was. <laughs> oh. That game was... Yeah, that game was get machine gunned. That's what that was. 
<laughs> that 30p, it's like, oh, I've tracked you, lol, I can now just pen you in the side. <laughs> uh, same as that Bradley, it was like, oh god, that's a Bradley, he managed to flex, he managed to, yeah, flex the ATGM into me, and it was like, well, good night, Mr. Bradley, then. <laughs> The end event for the Liberté starts Friday. It's quite random that it's a Friday that it starts. I don't know why it's not a Tuesday like normal. I should have had a look to see if I've unlocked anything yet. Upgrades? No, I haven't. 3,000 to go to the tracks. Okay. It's really annoying that... The... It's lucky that it hasn't given me the other 100 mil gum. 105, sorry, where it's only firing heat. Because it's really annoying that they've locked the gun behind the tank. 30k behind the tank at that. Or 35k behind the tank. Like, it's just mental. Uh, anyway. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Kids are driving like it's GTA, lol. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And then they all blow up. Cha bang! Right, where am I going to go? Three, four, two, one, ones. Okay. Godspeed. Helicopters. Goodbye, police and helicopters. Right. What has this game got in store for us today? I feel like I'm getting 80 gem this game. Don't know what makes me feel like that. But I feel like I might. Shoots a rocket at a chopper lol. Take it down! <laughs> Get it out of here! Hey, the G of the South. Yeah, the, the Shot 25T's gun is very derpy. It's like the. I'd, I'd say it's probably one of the only drawbacks to the tank. Every time I play this map, I can hear fortunate sun blasting in my head. <laughs> Tango! You've been tangoed! Uh, that's a TR580. Okay. They're pretty squishy. T62 as well, that's pretty... Come on, tank. I know you got that engine power. Why was that AV backing off? That was a bad shot. No, Conqueror, don't do that. Thank you. Oh! Really gone. No! <laughs> wow, that tried its best to miss. <laughs> Really did try its best to miss that other shot. Oh, please. Try 
attract you. Oh, it's a Port Magak 3. I always look at Magak 3s and think, I'm so sad for you because you're just an M48 pattern in the wrong place. Don't, don't, don't do it. No, oh. There we go. Afternoon, Kyle. Well, this game ended quickly. Not much time to do anything. That team is just dead. They are dead. Come on, Brennus. Let's go. Speed. Enough time to crash into the scenery. Yep. That's me. I just want to get there to get like another shot or two. Maybe just one shot. I missed. No. Does it? The hell? Well, yeah. That game was just super fast. Four minutes to seven. Well, I've unlocked the next thing anyway. So let's go put that on. Tracks. Extra degrees. Better terrain resistances. Cool. Alright, let's go play the fraternity again. How did that game go? Ah, oh, we lost. Not 100% surprising. Westfield. Interesting. Interesting. We'll see how this goes. Because this could be alright. Bing, boom, bing, boom. Use the speed boot, the turbo, just to get to our position aggressively, very, very quickly. That's about all the turbo is useful for, because randomly the turbo decreases your camo and your view range, which is very annoying. But there we go. Now we're going to have the best camo and view range we could have. Kind of hoping for more. I was kind of hoping that Valor would get shot to pieces, but that didn't happen. Oh, I got lit. Come on. Just, just 
spotted by that guy. Oh, that's a Jagdpanzer. That's a Jagdpanzer. Oh, hello. I'm so very sorry. <laughs> that is definitely one small turret, you're right. Oh, I'm getting shot. Oh, he missed. Well, this guy's got to die because then I can progress and actually move on. Come on. Thank you. Well, I. What the hell? What are you doing? Hey. That team has won that top section so well. They should be getting farmed as a crossing, though. Because as they come down here, this, this is an easy farm for our guys. Thanks, God. We are reloading. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay then. <laughs> Death. Bad shot. Oh, come on. What else is there? Right. Hello, Bat Tap. How is life? My party people. Nice.
Where has Bat Tap gone? Bat Tap is here. Tracked it. And you dead. Bat Tap down. Reload. Yeah, I need to get this guy out now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In we go. Come on. Oh. Oh no, Jagdpanzer, no. Got him. Whew. I had a I had a heart in mouth moment when I saw that Yag Panzer, I'm not gonna lie. I was just hoping to get the top gun with the kill on the other dude. So there's the T fifty eight. A VZ, where the hell is the V oh VZ's full health there, actually. Okay. He's moving the other way, though. That could be quite helpful. No, I don't like that. He's just going to come YOLOing over. I don't like that. Or maybe he won't. Maybe he'll just go charging off into the... Di okay. Well, Get tracked. Mine? Tracks? Only tracks? I want to be Devastator. God damn it. Oh well. Still a pretty tasty game. Pretty tasty. There's so many times that we could have had a couple more kills as well. Last shot on the VZ and the one on the, the CC Mark II as well. Could have had a Radley's. Ah, well, still pretty damn good game. And that's why if you win the middle and you win the K0 line, you can completely counter that top end ever coming to attack if you just play it right. Because those guys won that hill really, really easily. And then they came charging down to try and get shots at the people on the other side on the K0. But because I was there spotting them, that just completely cut them off. Completely. Like, they couldn't do anything. And they all died. Let's play a game in the 30A. Why not? Let's play a game in the 30A. So this is the top of the era one. Top hero arm. It's got 320 heat pen, which is mad. Ba -da 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 -da. I see Sharmageddon's calmed down a little bit. Charmageddon was real yesterday. <laughs> What's the current fetish with skinny turrets? I have no idea.
Please, people, go here. Oh, M41A1 killed itself already. Down we go! <laughs> that was always the exit strategy. I bounce. That's where heat is a pain in the ass. Little 101. <laughs> uh, uh, well played. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go around this way, I think. It's quite the risk, because I'm gonna get shot in the ass by this guy. But. We've gotta try and counter over here. I can't attack those char 40 Ts, because the, the, the 40 Ts will just wreck my day. Hello. Rabbits. Yeah, I'm going to go with that guy. Where he's just pinged. It's a good idea. Or is it death? That looks like death. That so looks like death. Although I've got a I've got a shaw. That's not death, is it? No. Nah. Our base is boned if I don't. Thank you for stopping. Trying to cap was the worst idea you had. Oh, I just need to aim. I need to stop being a pleb. I need to aim. You've fired all your shells, haven't you? I bounced. Thank you. There we go. Now you're a one shot. Good night. Well, thank God you missed, eh? That was a lucky thing, innit? Unlucky for you, maybe. Good night. Sweet Prince. Good night. Oh, it's a T-54. He wasn't over it. As the saying goes, discretion is a better part of valor. Yup. Oh, T-54. There he is. Speed. Hey, look, a store. Yeah, you got the WZ120 GFT. Yeah, the, the troll, the camo and the gun are really good. I'd say it's a good good tank. It's not one I enjoy myself. It's not my kind of tank. I can't shoot because of heat. 
That was, that was bad. That was just bad. Really? Well, fine. Whoop. AMX 30A. Embrace the hate. Yeah, well, I'll I'm 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 embracing it. I'm trying to, KB Dizzle. I'm trying. Decent game. No, you can't make me. <laughs> Embrace it. Love it. Yeah, I mean, KB, I am really embracing the heat. Mm-hmm. I I'm I'm mm-hmm. Really mm -hmm. really embracing mm-hmm. Really embracing that heat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes indeedy. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Play with the law yeah. The the Sharp forty T I can indeed. That's that's fine. As long as my filters don't break, thank you. Oh, KB, this is one for you actually. This tank, the AMX 30B66, doesn't have an engine sound. You probably know about it already. AMX 30A and 30B66 is on my bit. Yep. Yeah, they do. It's true. And I did I did suffer it, and we got through it. I mean, to be fair, the 30A ain't too bad. The 30, for era one, the AMX 30A with the, the heat only is okay. Because you don't really have that much of a problem. It's just an occasional shot gets absorbed by space. Like that shot on the M103 at the start of the game. And... It's a pain in the ass. Because you go, oh, I've just shot this M103 in the side. Uh, no damage. Because it just gets absorbed. Which is annoying. And like you saw with the T-54 there, shooting there. I, I had to be careful of how I was shooting him. He could have shot me no problem whatsoever. auto aimed through all the destructible cover and shot me. And penned me. Whereas I couldn't do that to him because of heat. But that's just heat problems. It's all right on the 30A. On the 30B, it becomes a problem because you can't deal with FV411s and stuff like that. But anyway, Sharp 40T. Sharp 40T. We need a crew for this bad boy. Let's take the same crew that was in there. And go. Oh, no, no, no. Take me four times boost off. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. I mean, yeah, I'd say play a game in the 30B. 66 KB to see for yourself, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have an engine sound. Randomly. That's Charmageddon a little bit more. Charmageddon's hitting. Bing, 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 going along. No problem, Pedro. How's your day been then, KB? How's it? How's life in tank world? Do -do 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 -do. Need more silver to burn. Check. I'll go check some videos and double check. Cool. You're researching a few tanks. Nice. Sounds fun. Bloody hell. Alright, gone. Nah, bro. Huh. Bat shed armor, everybody. Oh, cool. I'm dead. Get out of here. Maybe not dead.
It's really annoying they got to do that without losing any hit points. Bloody hell. 4,005? Well, that was a waste of a shell for you. Good lord. Well, there we go. We died. I hope you've got the big tank encyclopedia, KB, from the tank museum. Tells you all the tanks going. I hope you've got that in, in front of you, learning it all. Go, Brennus. Watching streams part of your job. <laughs> yep. Hello, exported milk. Hope we're doing well. So, yeah, sorry that didn't go too well, Pedro, but that was just. Well, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? Can't help that chat's coming in. Hey, Paul. Took a day off from work just in case you streamed. <laughs> nice. I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. Grinding away. Grinding away the French tech tree that's just come out. Uh, rush. Right. Only one forty one one. That's a good time. <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah. Such a hard life having to watch streams for for work, eh? <laughs> Currently have the complete guide to the tanks and armor fighting vehicles and Jane's Tanks Recognition Guide open. Nice. Sounds like a fun time researching. Alright, see you later, liquor store, mate. Have a good afternoon. Just got the 40T and prefer that over the 25T. I, I thought the 40T was pretty good. I, I think, the, to be fair, so far... Throughout my play of this line, it's been a fairly enjoyable line. The grind hasn't been too bad. They all feel fa perfectly capable. You know? It's been pretty decent so far. We'll see when we get to Era 3. Because I feel like I will suffer Era 3 a little bit. Because I'm, I'm, I just don't like Era 3. It's not my cup of tea. But we'll, we'll see. But then again, I've... I mean, at the end of the day, I've, no, I've not played any top tier era 3 tanks either. All I've played is the premiums, which tend to be like middle or bottom of the era, and the M1 Abrams. So. Or the MBT 70, to be fair, which is fun, but hey, that's just because you set people on fire. Because it's a fire starter, twisted fire starter, you know. Oh, it missed. Uh, right, let's go try and use this hill. Get some shots into the back end of these guys. Fire! He fired. No, I didn't want to get tracked here. Okay, if you're happy to stay there, Paul. All right, gun. Or should I say, all right, four two on one armor. <laughs> God damn it! He got me before he went down. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Oh, 
And good night. Hey, like in the brightness. Honestly, I was looking look. I was looking forward to it the most in the tree. Well, that was close for you. Uh, yeah, it's, I've been really enjoying it. To be fair, I think it's all right. Gun's pretty nice. The armor is. Well, there's not much armor, but at the same time, it also does bounce the occasional ATGM, which is great. And mobility is pretty nice. On the whole, it's pretty pretty good. Are you just sitting there and taking it, friend? He is. What a guy. Tracked him. Go, got that shot in. Let's get over there. The Brennus is a Frenchman who ate a baguette infused with steroids. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Oh no! Oh, I didn't want to crash into that guy. Not gonna lie. Well, I'll get them. Oh, Conqueror! No! My top gone! I just wanted my top gun. Come on, Brennus. We can get there. Come on, dude. Just drive out. Nope. He didn't want to drive out. He did not want to do it. Yeah, I saw that. The grind is worth the effort anyway. I, th I think this grind has been a fun grind. Like, I don't think it's been bad at all. So the only thing is that and sorry, KB, I'm not embracing the heat. But the only downside is that you've got to fire heat for that first one. And that this, ta this tank and the 30B2 have standard heat shells. So that you have to, well, to be consistent and to not have those frustrating heat bouncers on things like 4211s and Enigmas and tanks like that, you just load, load gold. How long have I been streaming for? Hour and 15 so far, Steve. Hour and 15. Played a few games in the Brennus. Played a few games in the Fraternity. And a few games everywhere else. Played the Shaw 40T again. <laughs> I mean, I could try. Or I could press A. <laughs> and usually pressing A is loading the heat, but not this time. <laughs> uh, I have played the uh, yeah 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 yeah. It's pretty pretty good, Steve. Pretty good. It's an enjoyable tank. It's not anything special, but it's not like bad. If you know what I mean. It's 
It's just enjoyable. I need to screenshot this. I didn't forget to do that. I need to remember to screenshot things. It's helpful. But I didn't really have any outstanding games in the MX30 B66. Uh, I did in, I've, so far, not really in the 30B2. I did in the, in the 30B2 I did. Where, where is it? Does, does it, does it, oh no, it's gone. Does it disappear? No, not on Xbox, on the external drive. Oh yeah, that that's the best game I had in the 30B2. The middle, the middle era tank. I had that earlier on. It's a, it, it's just like the 4-ad, because it, it plays exactly like the 4-ad. If you can get farming and just machine gun people, it's hilarious. Like, it's great. But you'll be seeing that in a video at some point soon. Because, I mean, I've got... I've been a busy, busy bee. <laughs> I've got the videos for... I've basically got the video... Uh, you've seen the Shah 25 t video today. I've got the video for the Shah 40T for tomorrow up already. For the 30A is up already. The 30B is up. And it'll be ready. So basically, that's tomorrow. That's Friday. That's Saturday. I've got the video recorded for that. For Sunday. And then this will be on Monday. When we get the replays. And then I've got to get the Era 3s yet. But we've been a busy bee. <laughs> We've uh, we've done quite well so far. See if we can machine gun in. I haven't heard the Rambo yell yet. Not yet. Not yet. The, you've got to have a moment. And to be fair, I've had I had a few moments in that El Alamein game when I actually shredded the both the the Bradley and the thirty B, and I just didn't I didn't do it, did I? And I should have done. I'm sorry. I've let you all down. Have I let you all down? And I'm so sorry. Serene Coast. What do I do? No, stop it. They've got two 4211s. They've got three SS11s. That's pretty brutal. Do I go to the cap? Or do I just go up the one line? They do spawn at B2, which is a bit of a problem. I was going to play the Shard 40T as well, didn't I? I didn't play the Shard 40T. Damn it. I got distracted. God damn it, KB. It's all your fault. Distracting. Tuch. Right, let's go to C1. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're risking it for a biscuit. Four two one's going away from it, which is good. Let's hope that their team has gone. Oh, the cat encounter cap look, and they've gone towards the encounter cap instead of up here. Damn it! These guys are pushing very aggressively. <laughs> well, he made a mistake. That didn't try and he set me on fire. This tank gets set on fire so much. And he's dead. This tank gets set on fire. So much. Hey, Steve. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Thank you so much, mate. Ow. That dead turret. You just... <laughs> I am blaming you again. It's easier to do that. Oh, God, I'm dead. It's easier to do that, KB. Sorry.
Oh, really? Gun? Okay. Please. No. Four two one ones, man. Even shooting them in the back of the turret. They stole a royal pain in the ass. God damn it. I can hit lots of sirens. What the hell is going off out there? And it's not just the encounter to cap warning. Shredded. No! Hello, rolled. It's fine. We reloaded in time. Oh. The low rolls. Bro. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're dead. I was hoping to be... Fa Again, I, I was hoping to be facing the two guys that were spotted over here, but... I was wrong. Job, I would turn that game around anyway from losing all, all the hit points against that Conqueror. But yeah, Steve, thank you very much for becoming a member, mate. That's very, very kind. In fact, Steve, you get a commander because you joined of your own volition. So, here we go. This guy here, this man, this man's Bjorn. You're no longer Bjorn. You are now Steve H. Yes. Like that. To be fair, you lasted way longer than you had any right to. Yep. It's true. I did, I did, ha I did last longer. I mean, to be, th those 13 SS 11s just didn't pay attention to me until it was too late. I should, they should have been able to kill me, but take it. We take it. <sighs> Where to go, what to do. That's Sharmageddon again. There's a lot of Shars. The last 250 hit points cost the Reds a lot. It did. It's true. At the end of the day, gunning the game is better than not being in it, right? One HP doesn't matter whether you've got one HP or full HP. You can still do a bucket ton of damage if you play it right. Exactly, Nighthawk. Exactly. I mean, I got fortunate, really, that the... Well, I mean, the Conqueror got tracked, and then he got ATGM to death. But I'm looking that he got ATGM because I would have... You know, got wrecked otherwise. Otherwise, he would have killed me. You what, mate?
that bounced. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to pop smoke there, but it, it worked out. <laughs> that was a that was a food reflex right there, but it worked. So, you know, we'll take it. The problem is this thing doesn't do too well with Sharmageddon because it needs targets that aren't fast, nimble, and run away from it all the time. Right, he's fired. We're going round him. Nice bounce. And looks like that, he's turned away from my other friend to shoot at me. Right. That's that. I'm off. Speed! This thing is rapid. It's so, so quick, this look, this Char 40 t <laughs> He's just dumped his clip. You know what? I think he's ready. Let's go. I'm coming to help, M103. I'm coming to help. That was a, a good ram you just did there. Okay, he's back. I'm off. I'm reloading. I'm going back towards my team. Oh no, he's, I thought he was going to come chasing after me. He didn't come chasing after me, that's weird. Okay, we're well, coming back up then. Allons-y! Exactly. Hey Lucio, thank you for following the channel. Man, it's a terrible time to play heavy tanks in Cold War. Yep. Oh, bad shot. Okay, I'm just detected. I don't like that. Oh, there it is. NM116. Okay. Got tracked by an object 165 and then Amaracked by a 4005 at the first minute. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good, export milk. That sounds like pain. Pain and suffering. This man looks like he wants to get rammed. Ugh! Oh my god, that was just too terrible timing of shots. That was just bad RNG. We made sure we were getting that. That was our top gun, just like that. Speed! And... Yeah! Nice! Style points! <laughs> and that, that was for the last time I played this tank. <laughs> Clearly it's the same bat chat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the bat chat that came over and started shooting us in the other game. So, style points.
Shama Lama Petty Rama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, D. Yes. That's exactly it. Hate mail or love mail? That's the question. Hate mail or love mail? Hey, love mail. Shama Lama Petty Rama. Yeah, shot 42. I, I think it's a pretty a pretty good tank. Uh, th th I, I can't say enough how nice this grind is. This grind is just a solid grind. It's different enough as you go... Well, okay, I'm forsaking era 2 here. But th this, this is different enough that it's fun. And it, this tank is ridiculously good for an entry era tank. And it's a hell of a lot of fun to play. you just got to put up with the fact that the gun is derpy as sin. Then this is like a step up. And it's faster, which is mental in itself. It's bigger target, but you can still have as much fun. And it can still stay as stealthy as the bat chat. As you can see, they've both got the same camo. And, yeah, the gun just feels a little bit nicer. And generally, it feels quite good to play the Shard 42. Then you get this, which is actually pretty, again, another fun tank to play. It's just like a lot of the other... Media. It's like the 773, in a way. Um, in the way it plays, it's... Pretty damn fun. This 30B was a good start to the era. Except for the fact that it only fires heat. Sorry, KB. And, you know, it, it, it's fully capable. The problem with this is that... Did this feel like a step up from the 30B-66? I don't think it did. It felt more like... The only difference for me was the fact that I started firing... A, you know, I had APCR to fire instead of heat. But they were basically... They felt like exactly the same tank, pretty much. This 30B and 30B-2. Just in the way they play, the way they were, the way they reacted to situations, they felt exactly the same. 30B2 Brennus does feel different to the 30B2 so far, because I have that extra armor. That armor on the turret front lets me bounce things, which is nice. That little bit on the hull armor means that I don't automatically get penned by ATGMs, which is glorious. And it just means I can ricochet shots here and there more often than I can in the others. So it's definitely a lot nicer, and this Brennus is, has been pretty good so far. Without further ado, let's keep grinding. Ba -da -ba, boom, boom, boom. What's the date today? The 12th. Right, okay. Do, do, do. Sure. No. Two, four, two, one, ones. Okie dokie. Ba da ba 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 ba. Right, I'm going to go down here and see if we can catch some stuff out crossing into the field. I've not seen anything so far. I've not seen anything crossing so far. Nope. 
Well, I'm dead. There we go, we're dead. That team just YOLO straight over. And he's dead for that. Well, that went well. That went well. Alright, let's play the fraternity with the other gun. Since we had a good game in this tank with that gun, let's put on this gun. For which I'm just going to load full gold. Because it's just the 200 AP pan is not enough for the, the way that this burst gun works. Yeah, it works works quite a lot of the time, Kyle, that position. But, like, they just all full sent it. And that and my whole team was basically on that bunker hill rather than anywhere else. Which means that there's no real support for it. Finished the M50 lot tank line grind to the Macarva last night. Reluctant to jump straight into the French line. It will eat away at my soul. Uh, this grind's not too bad, though, to be fair. Right, let's see if we can get something to burst. So we are using the burst gun, which is different to that autoloader that we saw in the last couple of, in the game a couple of minutes ago. Definitely foolhardy. I'll give you that. <laughs> Definitely that. It's a position that once it, it, it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that was that it doesn't. Especially if they decide that you're just going to die. <laughs> Pretty much. Because if you have people in the field, that that position, that push that they made is bad because they just get farmed. But we didn't have anyone in the field, so that didn't work, did it? I should have used the turbo mode. I just realised I didn't use the turbo just to get us to that aggressive position early. Hey, Grubber. Not too bad, mate. It's not going too bad. There must be something wrong with the stats on the Shard 25 Ti One marked it after 17 games. It's because it's it's. MOE values will be set to the highest of era one for the entry era ones, I think, probably. All right. Random. May I ask so? But why? Thank you, Gum. Well, yeah. That guy had a good time. Yeah, but it, yeah, it will be because the, the it'll be set to like I said the highest of the entry era one tanks, and they're not very hard to mark at all. <laughs> like they're the M4, like stuff like the M50 Sherman, the M46A1, the T44, they're all exceptionally easy to mark because their requirements tend to be like eighteen hundred, if that. Because a lot of new players play them, and so they're. They bring the stats down of it quite heavily. The problem because this tank doesn't actually have that good view range. Three eighty just isn't doesn't seem enough. Couldn't spot anyone making that cross. Alright. You just stay there then. <laughs> sure thing.
I need to turn up here. Come on, tank, turn, because that guy is coming. I could feel the YOLO within him. And I didn't want it again. Nearly. No, I don't want to go. Please stop. Please. I did not want to go this way. Oh. I might go after this panther. Might be a mistake, but I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try and double tap. Or should I say burst him? Ah, oh, come on. I just wanted to get the burst off. The burst is so weird. It's such a weird gun. The bloom isn't too bad on it. But when you're firing at distance, it's a bit of a pain. Because they tend to go a bit all over the place. No, we want that. Monsoon Drenus. Oh, we lost on the Siegfried line. AIXS. Stop doing well, mate. Right. Grinding the 705, 75k to go. Nice. 705 is not too bad these days. Those buffs they gave it a little while ago, and it was a little while ago now, were really nice. Really, really nice for it. Hopefully no AT gems this time. Which tank is good to pick from the War Hero what? Well, you... The choices for it are... The WZ120 GFT, which is an absolutely solid tank destroyer. The King Dragon's a lot of fun. T72 Ural is one that a lot of people already own, but I don't think is that good, frankly. It's just a worse version of the T72 and one. But it'll make you a lot of credits, so there is that, I suppose. What saw me? Okay, Scorpion. Yeah, the camo on the Chinese TD is ridiculously good. There doesn't seem to be much here. Really, tracks only? Pan! They really did not bother with this flank. Wow. Okay. Oh, except for this guy. Focus on this area. 
Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Bad shot. No, dude. Lol, bounce. Just keep firing, just keep firing. God, what is going on over here? Okay. No, it. And you're boned. Stay there. Let me reload. No, he repaired. No. Well, this has been chaotic. Oh, bad shot. And I took a hit from that guy for it. One HP in a dream with that bloke as well. Got him. Good. I'm going to have a light tank problem in a minute, I think. I'm going to repair that in case he randomly... Pe well, in case he pens me and just sets me on fire. That was a light tank ATGM from over there somewhere. Okay, that was close. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Woo. Got him. And we win. That was a pretty dumb last game. That was chaotic in that position we took there. That was just like everyone everywhere. <laughs> and uh, that's what... That, I got lucky to bounce that 30B2, right? But that's where the auto cannon and just knowing where you can pen people with the auto cannon is nice. Because obviously I penned the 30B2, bounced his shot, and I knew with my auto cannon I could just pen his lower plate. So, good times.
That was just kind of chaotic, that was. Uh, so that's giving me the turret. Turret, turret, turret. Good times. Okay, no kid. How much we got to go? 65? 65. It was carnage. <laughs> and that alley we went up to go towards the, the M60A2 as well. It was just tanks are dead everywhere. <laughs> Oh, come on. I did the thing. I did the thing. We did the thing, chat. We did the thing. We put a new turret on and didn't adjust our ammo, did we? Well, I guess I'm embracing the heat, KB. I'm doing what you told me to do, I suppose. Just about. Sadly. We're embracing it. It's all we've got. It's all we got out here. I'm gonna heat you up. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, shoot me. Yes, more. That's the one. Yes. <clears throat> mm hmm. We're fine out of here. We're not. We're totally normal. Anything coming? Uh, T-72. Oh, and a T-72 AV. Three, two... Thank God it's a Yorl, so easy for fun. Become one with the heat. Yes, I shall. He became one with my heat. That's for sure. See, that's where the heat's a pain in the ass. Because I should have penned that. That was a bad shot. I can't pen that guy like that. Come on. Nope. I just can't. I just if I had APCR, he would be dying right now. Aim for the turret. These low rolls, bro. Come on. I don't know why I took that shot. I'm not going to pen that. Our base is buggered. He's on fire. You guys deal with that guy. I'll deal with this guy. How's that a fair trade? That's a fair trade. Oh, he's on fire. Hey, Luke. I'm doing well, mate. I hope you're doing well. Oh, 
Oh, he's on fire. Good lord, we're setting everyone on fire today. Right. Take that. It's not like you can't do anything with the heat. It's just a pain in the ass. Hello, Alex Pro. Love you too, bro. Yeah! <clears throat> hey, John Lamp. Heat is love, heat is life. Well, I'm not sure about that one. We set a lot of people on fire with the heat, though. We, we really turned the heat on. <laughs> we turned up the heat. Uh, oh, kill me. Pretty decent game, though. Not right now, John. I am grinding my little ass off if I can. That's, that's what we're doing right now. Grinding and playing the fraternity. Hey, up, Seb. How we doing? Hello, Billis. GG, mate. Nice games. Top two. Good times. Let's play Fraternity's Burst Gun again because we didn't do too well with that one. Still at work, so meh. Uh, that's, that's the thing. But it, sh it shouldn't be too long till you're home and tanking, right, Seb? Right? And then you can have a good time. Seven oh five A tips. I'm a, I'm two hundred games in since ten, since nine p.m. last night. The the tips for the seven oh five side scrape. Side scrape your little ass off, XO. Side scrape your little ass off. That's the best thing to do. Did you try to machine gun Enigma? No, he was a friendly Enigma, KB. I'm... I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do, I, I, yeah, I do try and machine gun Lady Gigmas, okay. But he was a friendly one. We gave him a, lov a lovely, friendly machine gun, okay, because that's what you do. Should I play it the same as the tier 9? Yes, XO, yes, exactly the same. You just have a bigger gun. May continue the T forty nine. Oh yes. Hello, boy. Oh. And he's dead. I'm not sure what he thought it was. Got that was a good idea. Viva la France. Yes, indeed. Hey, Defonzi. Get out of my game. <laughs> yep, it's Defonzi. He's probably in there somewhere. I have no idea what that 780 was doing.
Can you play this light tank like a medium rather than a light? Yeah. It's a damage dealing light tank, John. It is a damage dealing light tank. So you want to... Did I type 4 do that? Okay, yeah. You want to play it more like a... Well, because you've got an autoloader. You want to play it like a damage dealer. Drive around trying to get the shots into people with the autoloader. Oh, Christ. That's a Minotauro. What the hell? There's something literally still there. I'm dead. Nope. There's still something at B B8. And I didn't see it. Because this thing's blind. That burst is really nice for doing damage, though, when it works. I said I can't spot what was down there. Play aggressive. It's what we do around here, KB. And that's what that's what that 780 was doing. That was satisfying. It is satisfying. When all the shells hit. Oh boy. G could you not? Whatever is looking at me, could you not? Defonzi! This is pain. Because I'm getting outspotted. This is the life of this tank. Thank you, Chris Hobson. <laughs> that is the pain of this tank. It doesn't light tank very well. You just don't... You get outspotted so easily. This is a mistake. Lol? All three? Nice! <laughs> uh, all three went in. Now I wish I was loaded. I bet it's a CS-63. That's what's been outspotting me. Yeah, it is a CS-63. Assassination!
You should be down to a one shot now. There we go. Now I reload. Where is artillery? There is artillery. I hate that. Yeah, he was ready to do that. He was looking exactly where I was coming from. Should have just kept moving. That was silly to stop. Very, very silly to stop. Should have just kept moving. Made it as difficult as possible for him. No, uh -oh. we died. Let's go. No, Billy, so I'm just grinding, mate. So sticking to solo to keep switching between the content. Goofy thing. Yeah, it's definitely Goofy Nighthawk. Definitely. It's definitely satisfying though when those shells hit and that. Oh, it's like I've played this map before. It's definitely satisfying. Oh, I didn't change the ammo type either. Yeah, it's definitely satisfying when all three shells hit. It's like boom, 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 and you hit someone. You're like, yes. Hey Ryan. No, this is the, the last one in the era, mate. Last one. Yeah, the Brennus is the last one, Rhyme. So we're not long before Era 3. Penetration. Right, I'm coming. I'm here, Chieftain 120. Let's go. Bad shot. I just wanted to machine gun you. I just wanted to meme. They're not not very friendly. He didn't want to. He just didn't want me to meme him.
Well, I die now. Bad shot. Now you kill me. Yep. Dead engine man, I couldn't turn around. I just wanted to meme the chieftain. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was meme. It does have a 20mm, yep. How many tanks are there? Yeah, nine, nine in total. There's the MX-38, the MX-40, and the Leclerc, I believe, in Era 3. Do 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 I'm pretty sure it's the MX-3840 in the cloak. I'll have a look in a minute, Ryan. They all have 20mm auto cannons though, Ryan. All of them in era three. Era two, sorry. All the MX 30s have it. And he's running away. Oh, KB, if you're still here. Yeah, this definitely has no engine sound. Just tracks. As you can hear. This tank has no engine sound whatsoever. Heat props. It's really silent but deadly, yep. Go on. Bad shot. Umbrella. Bad shot. Do, 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 do. I have replays in this tank already, KB, so I will... I will do that for you. B 
be happen Z. Our base is boned. There's not much I can do about it. Oh my Jesus, sweet Mary Leary. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Off we go. Pretty average game. Best Russian Tech Tree Heavy in your opinion? Best Tech Tree Russian Heavy? Probably the IS-7. The IS-7 is fantastic. It does everything well. He's dead. And we're going to cap. Yeah, I-7 is definitely jacking of all trades. It's got the armor. It's got the gun. It's got the alpha. You know. Bum, bum, bum. We're going for da, da, da. We'll go to the 30B. You're hearing something that you cannot see, but I need the perfect thing where I'm just driving. That's the one. Right, okay, let's, uh, two seconds, everyone. Open with that. Trim. And uh, we'll take it. Yeah, that'll do. Save as. Uh, no engine. To where we're going to go for that one. We're going to go to... There. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That was the first class. Okay. How did that fraternity game go? I bet we lost, right? I know we won. <laughs> right, we won. Well, that game will showcase that enough anyway. Lost a lot of credits in that game. Lost a hell of a lot of credits in that game. So that's that. No engine. That's perfect. Uh, Discord. Uh, right. Discord, 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 Discord. Discord da, 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 da. What are we doing? We're going over here. Bippity bop, boopity whoopity. Swiggity sweetie. We're going to put it in that chatty. So, bug report. Boop. I need to find the right place. This is pain. This is pain. Uh, 30B. Da, 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 no engine. Uh, 
There you go, KB. It's going. It's going into the bug report chat in Discord. Yeah, that's what I've done, Robert. Done it. <laughs> Deep ball. It's still uploading, by the way, KB. It's taking its sweet-ass time. I think it's, it's struggling to upload it while I'm streaming at the same time. So it'll be there in a minute when it, when it feels like it. Hey, top tier. Nice. Andre the Giant is the best free French premium heavy. FCM 50T, I, uh, Mr. XO. There you go, KB. It's uploaded. It's in. I would say the... I, I would say the, the FCM 50T, the Liberté, which you can get for free this Friday, is the best French premium. Period. Any of them. It's the best French premium. It's an absolute god. It's one of those tanks. It's got preferential matchmaking, but I don't care about pref in that tank. I just take it out. If people platoon in, I'll just take it out and not, like, as if it was a normal heavy tank. Or should I say a normal tank, not a preferential tank. Because it's immense. It's got enough armor that it can ricochet shells these days. The gun handling is pretty good. The DPM is insane. The mobility is really nice. The tank's mental. <laughs> That's where that gun can be annoying. Because I only hit three out of six there. Big Andy has slept up. Woeful DPM. Yeah, it definitely has woeful DPM for sure. Oh, have you fired? You fired. Uh oh. Well, that's awkward. Well, you fired, so that's alright. That's what we get for auto aiming people. We should have normal aimed, not pleb aimed. The armor on the, the Andre the Giant is phenomenal. It's just yeah, it's like I say the DPM is is just not not the one. Oh, that's that's a fair few people. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pain. I went too far over. I'm dead. Oh, I was going to say that this guy's just going to keep poking. He shouldn't be able to get a shot at me, I don't think. I just wanted to get cheeky shots into that bloke. And I got him, but I got tagged in return. RBRT for the win. Yeah, true. True, true. Ping, ping, ping. Ping, 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 ping. Ping, 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 ping. Are you still... Oh, no, you're an RU. Hello, are you? You're new. All I hear is pinging. So that's where that gun's annoying. I did not want to stick around to do that burst with him staring at me. That 53 TP. So I just wasted. Type 4, could you look at someone else? Let's 
just go for the reload. Like I'd say this, this gun has more potential to do really high damage quite quickly. But it's just really awkward. Did he fight? Oh, oh god, okay. I'm dead. He missed. Lol. I'm alive. I'm still alive. Dun, dun. I've got the fraternity to show. It's gonna do the damage and kill the people it faces. They will blow up in the presence of its power. Fraternity. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, right, because there's something looking at me. There we go. We're fine. Oh, I need an SMV CC67 behind us. That's fine. Oh, I need a Patriot. I might be. Mm, there's something. Uh, there's something there. I was gonna say I might try a cheeky play. I can't really do that. I was gonna go with I'm still standing, but he's the road, I guess. Yep. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, I'm going to hope that the thing's moved on top of the hill and try and get behind this Patriot and kill him without getting spotted, hopefully. It is. It's run off. It's a G-saw. Good. This Patriot ain't going to expect this. And we're going to RBRT for the win, so if we don't kill it, it's KB's fault. We didn't kill it! KB! What have you done? RBRT is not for the win! I'm dead. No! Oh, I'm alive. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. Just about. I think. Oh, what? What are you doing? If only the first shell had hit. Ram me. Ram me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, okay. Down, to down, down, down. Speed! My only option, as you can see, is cap. Otherwise, I'm boned.
My only option is cap. We have no ammo left. It's my only choice. If he comes and decaps or kills me while I'm capping, well, there's nothing I can do about that. This is my only option. Now we pray. Now we pray. Why am I not recording? Well, I'm not recording this game, apparently, so yeah, that's good. As beautiful as the mutant is, probably KV-5. <laughs> I'd say the KV-5 is better than the mutant, for sure. And back, what did I miss? Just got Amorak to Maya 72. Oof. That's pain. It's a shame it's a Fosh. It's a Fosh. He's going to get here. And the reason I'm not in travel mode is because my, the, that makes my camo worse. Yeah, boned. He bounced! And we're dead. Uh, there's nothing else I could have done. Nothing else. Other than drive around for five minutes. It was the only hope. Well, we tried. If only we had a little bit more ammo. Lost a lot of money. Got you with his last shell? Maybe. I mean, he fired his second shell there. Da, da, da. Your French toast. Well, yep. That is a lot of 13 SS 11s. <laughs> Four of them. Wow, that sounds painful. It is. It's the Brennus, Ryan. This is the like I say this is the last one in the Era 2 grind. So this is your top Era 2 tank. It's an MX30 with some ARA on it, pretty much. Or a 30B2, I should say. I think I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a break in this game. Not only did I get amaracked by an artillery twice by meeting three AVREs in five matches. Ouch. Ouch, liquor store. Thirty B. I kind of want to meme it. I ain't gonna lie. I want to meme. We're doing it. Come here. Ah, fuck. We're doing it. Mm. 
<clears throat> I just I just wanted to do it. All right. Uh, occasionally, you just have to machine. You just have to machine gun. And you get the opportunity. It presents itself, and you just have to do it. That death train is coming for me very, very soon. This house has stopped me so much. Did I track that guy? I did. Missed. Team, we, we we could really do with you right here. Nice bounce on the AV there, gun. Thank you. What is this? A four two one one. Oh, oh joy. Oh joyous joys. I'm yelling him because I know that those other guys are going to come around and start shooting me and. I wanted to get down. I wanted to get down in this dip because I knew that like these 13 SS 11s were coming. I have to take on a, <laughs> a load of light tanks. Lucky I didn't pull the trigger then. Oh. I'm a GAC 3. Well. Give me all that assistance. Take it. Uh, meme successful? I think it was, just about. <laughs> Do these French tanks have ATGMs like the Russians and American tanks or the eating the Spaghetti? No. No, they do not, liquor store. They have machine guns instead. Which, as you've seen, can be pretty damn useful. <laughs> Only the SS-11 Tetri doesn't have missiles. Yeah, yeah. The, only the SS-11 has missiles for the French, not the Tetri tanks. This tank fully upgraded? Not quite, I don't think, Ryan. Not quite. Like, we won't have the top... We won't have the top gun, for example. Because to get the top gun, you have to unlock the next tank. Because it's that stupid thing that they've done with the linear progression system in, era where, in Cold War. Where you have to have... The next tank unlocked to unlock another module because it's just stupid but there we go so we don't have the top gun so we don't have the benefit of that but at least they didn't cook us with having the at least they didn't cook us with having the the gun that only fires heat and then you have to play this tank with only the uh, heat gun or something All right, let's see what we can do.
Let's go M60A2. I need to hold. I need to go back. They've taken too many people that way. Oh, sorry, bro. Too many people have taken the hill for their team. Can't take the position I wanted to initially take. Can we can we back up instead of in a straight line around the corner, please? Oh, come on, gone. Ricochet. Ricochet. We're taking too long here. Okay, I'm making the mistake with you, T62. Bad, bad shot. Well, why did he shoot me? He shot me instead of the... other bloke. Oh, come on. It's only a Magak. God damn it. That was a big hit I didn't need to take. God damn it. Did not need to take those hits. Oh, well. Hey, Bobs. Can't watch today's internet on the blink and only have limited data, but we'll catch you on the next stream, definitely. All right, see you later, mate. Let's play Shar again. No worries, matey. Hope you get your internet problems sorted. I never understood the point of making you wait until after the next tank to fully upgrade your tank. Especially when the final game package is essentially essential to having the best games. Cough, cough, M60A3. Exactly. That, that is the biggest pain with the M60A3, which was annoying to me. Was that you got stuck with that stupid gun with 340 odd pen. Until you'd complete the whole grind. So you had to suffer it. So when you were getting faced by stuff like, you know, FV4211s and that, you just couldn't do anything to them. And you got stuck with that until you unlocked the next gun, which was like 400 and, was it, 440 something pen or something like that? I can't remember. It's just irritating. It's like, why? And I know the argument is technically you play the tank, it, may, it gives you a reason to play the tank after you've unlocked the next one. But technically, the era system gives you that anyway. Because the era system gives you the, oh, you are top tier in this era, therefore you're going to play it more off, more anyway. It's not like it's a tier 7 and you've finished the tier 7 and you go, right, I'm, playing, I'm not playing that ever again. Uh... Gotta go rake in a minute. See you later, liquor store. Yeah, you too, mate. Have a great week, mate. Just 
It's a rottler. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he's on fire. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, well. Can you set on fire? Don't hit me, 4005. <laughs> All the fires. Yeah, it does give... Yeah, it's true, Paul. It's true. This is probably a bit stupid and aggressive, if I'm honest. But we're going to go for it anyway. Because that's how stupid and aggressive I am at times. Nice. Bounce off the back of a bat chat. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bat. Oh, we go. There goes his head. Didn't quite get the shot in I wanted to his tracks I wanted. Let's just reload. Again, loads of sirens. Bloody hell. What is that? It's all cracking off. All cracking off. Are you... Are you... Per -ter, what? Excuse me? Hello? Physics? Stairs? Excuse me, stairs. Why do you hate me? Okay, can we have a chat? Can, can, can we have a chat about how much you, you hate me, bro? Can, can, can we have a chat about these this HP you just took off me? It's not very nice of you to take off my HP. <sighs> I don't know what I did to offend those stairs, but it took off 700 of my hit points. I needed those hit points. Afternoon, Mike. Uh, I'm going to pop the smoke here in case that M46 decides to pop a shot at me. And we're going to run away. I can't believe those stairs took away 700 mit points. I'm still sad about that. Yeah, God knows. God knows, Ryan. I'm dead the moment I fire. Oh, it's K. He he didn't he didn't snap the shot in. It's fine. He's looking the other way. Ah, oh, I tried to chance it. I tried to chance it, and it didn't work.
I thought if I could get one more shot in, I'd knock him down to a one shot. He'd come charging around the corner, I'd kill him, but... We failed. We chanced it and we lost the, the gamble. Hope you're having a good afternoon anyway, Mike. Oh, we got the new radio. Let's go. The most useful thing ever. It's true, otherwise you wouldn't be able to talk to people, KB. It's true. How am I going to rock out while playing? Ta exactly. How am I going to have a big rave without the radio? You need to have the thumping tunes on, you know? You know? With the top level radio, we've, we've hit those top decibel levels. We've hit that top whatever the... I need my dad to explain the audio because he, he he's the audio guy. But we could have those, you know, top sounds coming out the radio, you know. The radio is there to play your epic theme tune as you drive into battle and get killed by physics through <laughs> you off a cliff. Yeah, it's, it's true. Jorex? Well, at least we know he's been safe. No really? Interesting. Yeah, took a large hit there. But the moment I fired, he just instantly snapped us. So, well, we got all the all those bigots into him. Conqueror. Shot ricocheted. It did. You're not wrong. Not gonna lie, three quarters of me wants to YOLO that object 120. But I know it wouldn't go very well. I didn't actually come down to yellow imagine I came down to actually help this Magak out against this M103. Stay there. Please tell me that's your ass. That is your ass. And what a glorious ass it is, Mr. Conqueror.
Oh, destructible cover. Why? That was just bad. That was bad. Are we really? Are we really still losing to Cap? I'm quite surprised by this. Not anymore. Jorex, he's not being safe anymore, is he? Remember, kids, stay safe. Uh, but that guy's not done, gone well. He clearly didn't take that. Uh, come on, tank. No, we can't. Uh. We've hit, I'm going to burst my own eardrums level of sound. Yep. That's the one. That is the one. The best I've ever experienced for that was Nero. It was a gig. It was Nero at a gig. Oh my god. <laughs> the level of bass and sound. Jesus Christ. And I think I felt like my ears were going to blow up. <laughs> it was so good. That was the first... Oh. Jurex finished too early. <laughs> yes. Uh, what we gonna, uh, let's do it. Yeah, Nero gig when I was 16. It's the first gig I actually went to properly. I say what gig. It's actually the, fir the first dance music thing I went to was Nero. And I was 16, and it was incredible. The moment they opened with Doomsday, Jesus Christ. I think my ears blew up. Full eargasm, but also the bass was madness. It was the type of bass that everything's tingling. You can feel the root, your hair roots tingling on your head. Like, it's, it's just that thick bass. Oh, it was beautiful. And that is what the perfect radio does for you. <laughs> so remember, kids, upgrade your radios. Got to actually hit the recording, which is why I was looking at the freaking team listings. That's a rock. Okay, most of the team's going up that way. I'm following the team. I've done it too many times where I go to the castle, find the whole bloody enemy team. Oh no, no, we've got no. Okay, we've got a decent amount of people. No, forget it. We've got a decent amount of people. Decent amount of people's gone this way. We're okay. That rock, KB, right? Okay, let me let me get it straight. That rock took the brunt of my frustration that those stairs gave me in the last game or the game before, whichever one it was. The stairs hated me, so the rock took the punishment. Can't help it, all right. Just had to take it out on something. Better out than in, you know. And you're screwed. As if I can pen that. I had no idea. I can pen that drive. Where was my machine gun? Okay. <laughs> sure. That was brutal. Mr. Conqueror, you're a beautiful tank, but no. He's fired. 
He's fired. He's fired, everybody. Raid boss down! Drive wheel. Get tracked. Give me assistance, people. Thank you. Every little counts towards the XPs. Are you being rockist? Is that... Well, I mean... Oh, oh God. Please don't report the stream. Uh, no, Conqueror. No. No, no, no. No. What can I see of these people? Clearly not enough. Right, I'm coming, Brennus. I'm coming. There's a light tank directly behind me. AV! I'm coming for you, bro. Um, okay. I'm not 100% sure what was going through his head. Except for the, the ringing sounds of machine gun fire on his, on his tank. Didn't get that. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Uh, uh, there's a medium tank up here. Oh. Alright. Alright. Kill stealing extraordinaire. I missed. Okay. Mine. <laughs> Yoink. Top gun. <laughs> uh. Victory. Oh dear. 11,000 XP. Nice. Da da da. Viva la France! Exactly. Viva la France! I think that. Char 25T and the Char 40 are a little bit broken. I don't... I, I, I can't... To be honest, Hotshot, you can't... I, well, I say you can't, you can. I, I can't comment on that because, to be honest, we need time for them to settle in and go from the Charmageddon that's currently going off, right? The, the Charmageddon that's going off at the minute is pretty painful, like it is when a new, t new tank comes out. But when it settles down and it's like there's maybe one or two in a in a game, that's when we'll know how how it is, right? That's how we know if. But yeah, that's just how we'll know if it's okay, essentially, or if it how broken it is. Because at the minute we cut, it's just like there's there's six or seven of them in a the game, so there's more likely a chance where you're just going to get yolo by them, and then you get screwed over, right? So you definitely feel it a little bit more at the minute. 
Hello, Brett. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're having a good afternoon, good day, good evening, good morning, wherever it is, whatever it is. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, good afternoon from France. So you're here to enjoy the the patriotic justice that is these French tanks. So far, so good, Brett. So good. So far, so good for these this French line. Okay, I might be silly. No, I'm not going to be silly because this guy's here. What is it? 4211? Okay. Really? Well, I didn't expect that. Okay, I'm going to get boned here. Yeah, I'm boned here. Okay. Okay then. That was a bad shot. That was stupid. I shouldn't have gone so far over when I can just pull back and shoot this guy like this. Really? No enigma. Oh. Kill. I want the kill. XP. Thank you. What is that behind me? It's a leopard. God damn it, missed. I'm a fool because I shouldn't go in. I shouldn't go. I knew that was going to happen. I'm so stupid. I just wanted to go in and help the guy in here and try and YOLO the object 120 and then machine gun it, but I should have just kept running away. Should have kept running away. That was so dumb. Hey, well. Too bad they're stuck with heat. Not if you press A, Brett. <laughs> Not if you press A. Uh, it's not too bad in the era one, to be fair. It's not too bad in the era one, you know, the MX-30A. The heat's fine. You can put up with it. 320 pen as well is filthy. But, yeah, the heat on the object, uh, the object? MX-30B66 is a little bit of a pain. Because it's the only round you get on that tank. All the rest of them get APCR as premium. So you can just load full APCR. And you, because it's era 2 as well. You still make good credits no matter what. 
you still make like 80, 90,000 credits. So you can do it, fine. But, yeah, the only one it's a pain on is the MX-30B 66. And that's only... And it, it's not like it doesn't work. It's not like you can't do anything with the heat. It just It's just a frustration point, right? Because it's like the, there's, there's so many times you'll shoot something you think, ah, oh, I should kill it with this shell, and it just doesn't pen. Or you're shooting things flat sides where, you know, if you were, if you were firing APCR or AP, you would be penning those shots. The, the T-72 AVs and the T-72, those T-72s are the, the prime example of that. Where if you're firing heat, you're actually more likely to go through the front than you are the sides, which is annoyingly awkward. Best tier 6 heavy. Uh, it's quite a few good tier 6 heavies. Enjoyable ones, for sure. Like The, the M6 is solid. The T150 is lovely. FV4211 sending every shell to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> yeah. VK36 is pretty nice. Yeah, VK36 is pretty good. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't spot me, but okay. Right, there's something in that bush. The T6 Tigers are okay, but they're a bit boxy, like the Tiger is. Wow, he blew up. They're a bit boxy and the guns are a little bit derpy for me. I feel like the VK3601H is a little bit better for it. For that same gun. You know what? We're playing aggressive. Hello, boys. Sporting. No 4005. I don't want your love. I don't need your love. Just leave me alone so I can die in peace. No. No, we're not doing that. Oh! Risk it for a biscuit! It's fine. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm dead. There we go. He decided I was just going to die. And that was that. <laughs> that Projecto 60, uh, 65 tracking is all screwed as though. I was hoping to free aim track him as he came over that ridge that 66, but it didn't didn't quite happen. Still, it's a pretty pretty good game, though, to be fair. I mean, what, what did we do in the end? 3k damage, 5.3k assist, 3 kills. Take that. 8k combined. Pretty damn nice game.
We're very, very close to that era three. Very, very close. Yeah, you can, John, yeah. You can still get an ace tanker in, in, a, in a... Well, when you die. Yeah. Doesn't stop you getting an ace. As long as you've fulfilled the base XP requirements for the ace tanker, you're going you're gonna to get it. it. It can make it a little bit more difficult because you do get XP for surviving. So, naturally, if you die, you lose that XP, but... You know... We're not getting paid by the hour. But what if I am paying you by the hour? Don't look at me like that, bro. I know what you're up to. Little armadildo. I can see what you're planning. You're planning to circle strafe someone. I can feel it in your bones. This is a mistake. I've just realized I've made big mistakes. Because I'm in a bad place. I shouldn't be here, but I'm risking it for... Oh, he's on fire. Yeah, I see I'm in a stupid place. I need to get out of this stupid place. I should have been on this side of the ridge. I'm lucky to be... Not have lost more hit points there, to be honest. That was too aggressive. Ouch! That looked like that hurt, bro. Oh, really? Woo! Just a casual drive-by machine gun, it's fine. Why am I suffering FPS drops? This map suffers some significant FPS drops at times when you're going around certain areas of the map. Really? Yes. Can I please penetrate a tank? Please, gun, thank you. Jesus, Lord above, Mary, Jesus Christ, Joseph and Beelzebub. Uh. Oh, that's a ledge. Um. Yeah. We're fine. I had faith. You had faith. I had faith. I mean, I hit that, so I'll take it. That's a win in my book. Don't matter that I bounced. I hit it. <laughs> Speed!
He came in like a wrecking ball. And I died very quickly. Well, yeah, okay. That AV was like, hello, friend. I want to ram you. And he, he did. He, he did that. We won! Thank you. Epic victory! Nice! How much more have we got to go? 5k? Go on then. <laughs> right, let's move on. We can, we can move up an era now. As long as the Ramka was consensual, it's all good. <laughs> yes. And remember, kids, no means no. And I, you know, I gave him my consent by attacking him, so it is what it is. It, 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 MX32, everybody. It's a blank screen. <laughs> Game. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Took its time. MX32. So, yeah, the... the the, the tanks in this the, the this French one go MX-32, MX-40, and Leclerc. Leclerc. So upgrades, what we're going to do... Wow, we've got a way to go. Well, first thousand, obviously, because why it locks me out of an equipment slot, I'll never know. I haven't got worried there for a minute. Ah! <laughs> uh... No, 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 no. On the move, accuracy is 1.69. 0 0.31. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go to MX32. Put that in there. You don't actually say the second C? Well, I've been saying it wrong all my life. <laughs> uh, what we do? 65 kilometers an hour, traction system. Yep, traction system. 1.41, I might just not run that. What's the aim time? 2.2. We might just make the aim time better. We'll see how the dispersions are when we play it. I might just make the aim time better on it. Kind of love the silent letter in French words. Truly, it happens in English words too. Uh, no. What am I doing? Appearance. Appearance. Yes, let's put some pink frilly camo on my... Some bright O3 pink frilly camo on my MX-32. They're not going to see me out there with True Vision, are they? Nope. Nope, that's ne they're never going to see that. <laughs> Christ, nope. Do it! Okay, we're going to have one... One frilly pink camo. It's going to be for the urban setting. Do we go that pink? Or... Or... Is that, is that the only pink for... Oh, okay. No, the, the other pink's the other nation. Or do we go that pink? That's bright pink and purple. Uh, let's go bright. Okay, well, just, just for one. Pink. I just realised I made mistakes. I made mistakes. They can't see you if you blind them with that pink. <laughs> yeah, true. So this also gets machine guns. Is that heat? That's heat. Okay, no, no, no. We don't take heat. So what's the pen on the machine gun? Is it exactly the same as the others? 87. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
I want to put Decepticon logos on my tank. Well, for that, they'd have to get a Transformers license, John. So the likelihood of that is slim. Slim, I'd say. But you never know. They might get a Transformers one someday. Who knows? I know I know a fair few people who went to Tank Fest would love the Megatron skin for the Challenger. And it did look pretty pretty awesome, to be fair. See, it's it's not it's not outside the realms of possibility, John. It's not outside the realms of possibility. It could happen, you never know. I didn't put a booster on, didn't I? I didn't put my boosters on. Uh Made mistakes. I made mistakes. Where is the team going? That's the question. Straight ahead, it would seem. Straight towards the cap. Because that can only go well. I don't expect the armor to hold up very well. But we'll see. I am in the cap. Ow. Damn it reloads quickly. Ow. I need to get out. They've got a position on the bridge. Four and a half second reload is rapid. Good lord. So that's faster than the M1. They have everywhere, it would seem. Bro, broskies. They're behind us. Oh. They have the whole map, it would seem. Oh, bad first game. That ATGM to the ass did not help. Has anyone figured out a way to make the Nemesis good? Nope. <laughs> nope. I want Casper the friendly ghost skin so I can play the OP to Rantiti. Nice. Now they do, the Commander VOs are stellar, plus the in-game music changes the old school Transformer theme tune when you use one. Damn. Seems like the Nemesis is pay to lose. Yep. See, I'm always down for more voiceovers. Always. More more unique voiceover commanders. Always. I, I always like... Love, yeah, I always love having the unique voiceovers in the commanders. Wow, that did not go well for him. <laughs> he, literally, he literally just brushed him. <laughs> oh, God. He literally just blushed, brushed him and he blew up. That's quite funny.
bum, 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 bum. The whole armor should have the 100 armor. It should, you're right. Or at least keep the, the, the turret armor. The turret armor is also an absolute pain that it's not the same. It's actually, in fact, worse than the old E100. Like, that is just crazy to me. Because, like I say, it's not even like they gave it camo, because it's got no camo, so it can't stay hidden. It can't block shots. Well, it can. It, okay, it can, but not effectively. Ouch! <laughs> ATGM to the face. Watch behind you. There's an M one eight one. Macava. This must have. This man must have a stock engine or something because he seems fairly sluggish going forward. Let's go. Oh, they got the uh, swamp. Did your best damage thirteen? Damn. You can really tell this MX thirty two is an MX thirty, but with. Like souped up arm. Damn it. Ass. Shot in the ass. We're getting shot in the ass. And we, no, we don't enjoy it, chat, before anyone says it. Oh god, alright. Wow, really? That missed? Okay, why did he pick me? It was like, you're the one that I want to shoot. That's a 285. That's just not ending well.
Oh. Like, we were just getting so screwed over there. Come on, people. I think we're losing this. Something tells me we are losing this game. This game is not going well, no? Nope, this game is not going well. Set times. Bada boom. Right, I'm gonna play one more game and then I'm gonna call the stream there for today. Managed to get to era three, which is a good time. Let's go with one more. Da -da 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 -da. Right, let's see what we can get done over here. I feel like this might end poorly. Teams end up splitting a little bit, and that never goes well in Era 3. No, I want to go up and left.
What's that? A chieftain? Should be able to shoot that from the middle. From here. I think. No? Apparently not. Really? Okay. Right, let's join my BU friend in his little run. He's doing. Be you, you've got the hit points, my friend. Go. That bounced. Okay. Well, this is awkward. God damn, he flies none as quick as I do. Well, the M102 is brutalizing that MX40. Good God. And he killed him. Great job, team. Well, yeah, that was the last game for the stream anyway. Done and dusted for the day. We had some pretty damn decent games for it. We showed off the French tanks a little bit. Had some two really nice games in the fraternity. But yeah, thank you very much for everyone tuning in, coming along. Thank you to Steh for becoming a member. Thank you very much to you, mate. Thank you very much to Anubis as well for gifting five more memberships to the to the channel. Very, very kind of you. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along and tuning in to this little stream of ours. And, yeah, I hope you have a, hope you have a good time. And a good evening, good day, good afternoon, morning. Whatever day it is for you, have a good time. So I'll see you all later, everyone.